two, one, go! Here we go on autonomous mode. We actually have six Indiana teams competing in the match. Couple from Indianapolis. Couple from Muncie, Kokomo, all around the state. Nobody scoring in autonomous mode. So we move right into the human player control. Ringers come flying. 292 quickly over to their human player station. They've got a ringer for the Red Alliance. 1760 also out quickly picking one up off the floor that their human players have sent out. Very quick is 868. Placing ringers for the Blue Alliance. We've already got a row of two on red. Nicely done by 292 and 1760. 1747 trying to get that ringer placed for the Blue Alliance. Trying to tie it up with a row of two. There it goes, nicely done. 1018, the Robo Devils. They've got a blue ringer. Driving, maybe trying to put a stop to the row that the Red Alliance is creating. We got a row of three for red, a row of two, and a singlet for blue. 60 seconds left in the match. Oh, so close for the Robo Devils. Almost had it on there. 1747 also almost creating a row of three for the Blue Alliance. 1018 very, very close with their ringer. They just got to get it on there. Oh, miss once again. 868 continues to pour on the blue tubes. Even though 292 is there playing defense on them. They work their way back down. 25 seconds left in the match. We've got a couple of rows of two on blue. Score shows 20 to eight, blue in the lead. 15 seconds now left in the match. 1760 trying to create a row of four for the, blue, for the Red Alliance, as is 1747. Can 1747 get it? Yes, they can with three seconds left. Can 1760 land to the tent? No! Defense played by the Robo Devils, keeping 1760 off of the Spider. Looks like we got a penalty. Sounds like the penalty may have been a human player infraction on the Red Alliance. All right, penalty there was on 1760. They had a coach grab one of the ringers before autonomous mode ended. Again, a coach on 1760. Score up 30 to zero. The penalty not affecting the outcome of the match. Nicely done by the Blue Alliance. 